Here is the beautiful Tennis Masters shield that goes to the champion along with the big check today. Beautiful crystal. Pete Sampras has won 10 shields so far. And today he would like to make it number 11 and prove that he is ready now for the summer season about minutes. to begin. The Grand Slam era, the Grand Slam time of year that he favors. Gustavo Kirten has never won on hard court, so that's his goal today. And he must beat Pete Sampras to do it. 79 degrees, a little cooler than it has been in recent days at the tournament. 54% humidity, about the same as yesterday, and that's because there is a breeze blowing. And it's more evident at the top of the stadium. It comes in gusts down on the court. And now let's join Pam Oliver, who had a chance to have a chat with Pete Sampras. So, Pete, how confident do you feel that you can collect your first victory of the season? Well, I feel pretty good. I've, uh, I've escaped through a couple of tough matches throughout the tournament, and I feel like my game is starting to come around, especially the last couple of matches. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty confident, and, uh, but I feel good. I feel like I got a pretty good chance on Sunday, but Quirton's, he's playing great, just beat Andre pretty easily, and, and I, feel, I feel like my games hopefully will be there, you know, mm -hmm. come 3 o'clock on Sunday, so looking forward to it. What do you feel you need to get better, you have to get better, in order to gain the form that you had when you were really dominating the sport? Well, um, I don't look at myself as slipping at all. I mean, I, I've come close to, to winning a few times this year, and it'd be nice to, to win here, but um, uh, I still feel like my game's still there, and my, I'm still into it, and I still want to be on the top of the game. And uh, But it'd be great for the confidence. I mean, certainly everyone was playing here. It's kind of a grand slam field, so I, I feel this would be a, a great win for me. Uh, but it won't be easy. I mean, Quentin's, he's playing great. He's going to be fresh, and certainly will be... Uh, a loud crowd because a lot of Brazilians here in Miami, so at least I'm looking forward to that. I didn't mean to imply that you were washed up or anything. No, that's all right. <laughs> Good luck in the final. Okay, thanks. Pete Sampras has just taken a little break here during the warm up. Gustavo Kirton uh, taking a few extra serves as a result, which is just as well, Luke, because he didn't start off finding the box too readily. <laughs> and what you want to do, especially if you're Gustavo Kirton, is to get that high percentage of first serves in. And you want to pinpoint your serves, especially on the second serve, to the backhand of Pete Sampras. That's Pete's Achilles heel off the return. As you look at the road for Gustavo Kirton, uh, buying the first round because he was seated so high, and then Ready this is down in the second round to Clement from France. He was down a match point. And then he came through. The Pozzi from Italy. Wayne Ferrer, 3-1. That was a battle, but he dominated the South First African. Set. And Andre Agassi. Agassi, 6-1 and 6-4. His coach is Lari Passos from Brazil. He's been with him about 10 years now since he was a youngster. Play. And we're ready to play. Pete Sampras will serve first. Sampras. 15 left. Sampras is a little late getting to that passing shot because left. everyone knows the scouting report on Gustavo Kerton is the backhand pass down the line. That's his favorite shot. So Pete was leaning to the forehand side and then it was able to make a stab at the backhand to win that point. He's down the middle. 30 love. Sampras 14 and 32 on the season. Remember, he was out nearly six weeks following his semifinal loss at the Australian to Andre Agassi because of a back problem. Steve Ulrich, the chair umpire for this match. One of the many full time guys on the tour for the men. 50 40 love. Wide service from 40 love. Sampras troubling Kirton. After that uh, bad back uh, bothered him, he got uh, back out to Scottsdale in that tournament and was unable to go with the thing still aggravating him. So then at Indian Wells, he lost in the quarters to Thomas Enquist. And Kirton gets his first point of the match, 40-15. Well, it's a good matchup between Sampras, the puncher, and Kirton, the counter puncher. And the problem with Kirton, he's not an accomplished returner. He's good if he's able to retrieve once he gets into the point, but he usually just likes to bump the ball and slice it in the play. Game. Big Sampras. serve there, 129 miles an hour at the body, and Sampras takes first the game. early lead, holding the first game of the match. And again, they will just change ends here. Their play is continuous. For Pete Sampras, he opened with a bye, of course, and then over Carlos Moya. 
Andreas Vinci Guerra, to youngster from Sweden. Everybody's keeping an eye on problems old. there, didn't oh, he? Luke? He's awesome. Yeah, I, Pete Sampras, uh, you know, felt sick at one point. You know, hurled a little bit, but he pulled through. And then as Rosetsky, three and three, he's always had problems with that lefty Rosetsky. The Pentian Street st straight sets, and then Leighton Hewitt in the semis. Three setter against Hewitt, so he's had two three setters in the tournament, but he feels that he is rounded into form, and here he is in the final. Oh, nice pass there from Kirton. 15 love. And Pete Samper said at the top of the show that he needs to attack the Brazilian. And as you can see, he does right here with the slice backhand. Now, this isn't too bad. It's not deep, but it makes the Brazilian step up into the court and make a difficult pass cross court for the winner. Be a huge television audience in Brazil. The biggest sports event going on in that country today is watching Kirton here in the final against Sampras. He's the Michael Jordan behind the soccer stars. Perfect pass down the line from Kirton. And in the crowd, you'll see the, the green and the gold, the green and yellow Brilliant. shirts littered throughout the crowd supporting their guy. There's the favorite passing shot. He stays down with it, the technique hitting through the ball. 30 love. From Florianopolis, a city of 300,000 in the southern part of Brazil. That's a surfer town. Lots of visitors, tourist attraction. Long from Sampras, 40 Love Kirton. Or nickname Guga, which is a common nickname for the, sir, the, uh, the name Gustavo, and in Brazil, it's not uncommon, but everybody knows who Guga is when they hear that name used publicly. It's this young man. Oh. Okay. Okay. And he wins the first game he serves at Love, one all. He's still on the court on Gustavo. One Kirk. game all. He's fairly straight up. You know he's a counter punch. He's good off the ground, but it's that strong backhand down the line where he turns his shoulders and extends to the point when he can dominate off the pass and off the ground. His first serve percentage, if it's high, is a major factor. When he won the French Open a couple years ago, he knocked off even the defending champion Thomas Mooster with that big first serve. He's not accomplished around the net. He can volley. He plays a little doubles in Davis Cup and other tournaments, but he's not confident up there with it. That's where his weakness lies. 126 miles an hour from Sampras again right at Kirton. 15 love. Got his racket on it, knocked it long. 15 love. But watch Gustavo. He's standing five to six, seven feet behind the baseline, trying to re return the serve of Pete Sampras and just trying to block it. He doesn't want to take big cracks at it. Oh. On a second serve, he can do that. But here's the problem. Pete Sampras has a marvelous second serve, sometimes in the 110, 115 range. That's long, and again, Sampras coming right at him. Three consecutive serves. He still low. goes at 6-2, six, 6-3, six, so he's, got, he's very lanky, and he can really reach out for some balls. So what do you do when you're playing a, top, uh, a tall player with a lot of reach? Go to his body. Body blows. Good deep serve again, 127 miles an hour. Right, at the, three, three, right at the body. Very consistent and very effective so far in his first two service games. Sampras at 40 love. A lot of people don't give Pete Sampras enough credit that he's a, a smart player. They say, oh, he's got a big serve and he's got a big forehand. He thinks out there. He has a lot of different shots and he has to use them at times. He's an all-court player. He plays well under pressure and he really thinks what he's trying to do every time he steps on the court. He scouts his opponents. Forty-fifteen. Double fault from Sampras. Makes it forty-fifteen. His first double. Now he's serving into the sun, and it's not so bad on the first serve because your toss is out in the middle of the court, out in front. But when you're kicking it on the second serve, that's going to go right into the sun. I mentioned they've played only once before. Sampras won that match in straight sets on hard courts at Hanover, Germany. Went on to win that tournament. Okay, and so Sampras. Sampras holds easily again and leads 2-1 here in the first set. Grant Hill and Jerry Stackhouse know how to play on and off the court. 
Carla Overbeck took a year off at the height of her career to have a baby. Sammy Sosa has built an impressive home run resume, as well as a children's health clinic in his hometown. There's a time for sport and a time for life. Here's to those who know the difference. We have two different command accounts because our investment strategies are slightly different. I'm more aggressive. I like to take long shots. I'm a bit more conservative. So we can compare at the end of each month when we get our command account statement, and then we can argue and fight about it. <laughs> Disagree. We demand service. We demand quality. I wouldn't say we're demanding about that. For heaven's sake, that's not demanding service. We, we just expect it. This is not a commercial. It's a sitcom. <laughs> Max Driscoll, age 79. Widower since 1993. Alone. Solitary. Then he got email. Connect and create something. Bell South. Yeah, you can see the score. Sampras on serve, 2-1 up with Kirton Thank serving. You. Now Gustavo serving into the sun. Good open court forehand from Curtin. 15 left. It'll run around his backhand, set up. And I talked about turning the shoulder so much, but watch it. See the rotation he gets right from the, that's where he gets a lot of his power and placement from that shoulder turn. <laughs> foot fault was called on that one. You'll see Gustavo drag his back foot up. Pretty close to the line. He'll get called every once in a while for that. Out. Just long on the backhand side. I was talking to Gustavo's coach, Lauren Passos, and he was saying he's not worried about uh, Pete Sampras because the conditions really favored uh, Gustavo Kerton because there's Larry right now. It's hot. It's not a gusty wind, but every once in a while you get that wind shot, so it's going to affect your serving toss, and that's going to affect the serve of Pete Sampras. Another big factor is the heat, the humidity. Pete Sampras isn't considered a fit player. His points normally last so short with 15, the big serve and the big ground strokes. Gustavo feels he has an edge in the fitness category in this best of five set match. The only time they played was in Hanover. That was indoors where the conditions were controlled on a fast carpet court. It's long on the return. Sampras going for it. 30 30 all. This is what you call cheap points. When you throw in that first serve and Pete Sampras just goes for it, trying to end the point quickly. That's why good play from Kirton. Getting down low. And keeping it deep. 40-30. Sampras knocks it out. 40-30. Point from two all in this first set, best of five championship final. Kierton oh. 16 and 6 this year. The victory at Santiago on the clay, made the semis in Bogota. Sampras, big forehand to Deuce. Tim, if you're going to go to the Pete Sampras forehand, you better put some juice on it. Because the forehand from Pete Sampras is deadly. He drives through the ball, the depth on it, not a lot of top spin, but it's driven with force. 
Luke, you and I watched the uh, Leighton Hewitt match, and Sampras early in that match had some trouble finding the range with his forehand, but it got better as the match went on. He had it when he needed it in the third. Athletic ability from the American Pete Sampras. Chipping and charging. He said he was going to be aggressive. And it's a big point early yeah, in this match. Sampras. Taking the second serve return. Chipping and charging. First break point of the match goes to Pete Sampras. That's a good open court shot for Gustavo Kitten. It is. The ball had no pace on it, so Gustavo had to generate everything. Shoulders are turned once again. He steps up to the ball, and this is where he accelerates. Watch the knee bend, and watch this. Boom! Good acceleration. Ladies in Brazil are glad he's got his curls back. That's he how shaved he his head last yeah, year. That's right. That's right. Yeah. on the forehand. Now, what's, the, the, point? what's the difference between that, the earlier forehand where he hit it for a winner and that one? He just didn't set up in time. Remember, you have to be quick around the baseline, and that ball was just starting to set up, and he didn't take one extra step. Think about the small adjustment steps when you're about to hit the ball. Jimmy Connors was a god at that. Tampers comes in. That's long. Oh, nice Sampras. idea from Kirton, but he has suffered the break here. Sampras goes to 3-1 on the break here in the first set. Best of five championship match. Pete Sampras is doing exactly what he set out to do, to, to try to put pressure on the Brazilian Kirton. He volleys well and forces Kirton up to the net where he doesn't feel comfortable, and now the early break. Hear the cries from Brazil up in the rafters. Screaming for Guga. Now here comes the second third. Now the confidence of Pete Sampras. This guy's a front runner. Once he draws blood from a victim, he starts to really lay the lumber down. 105 miles an hour on that second serve. us back. Still a lot of uh, empty seats in the sold out stadium and that's because we were informed about an hour ago that uh, there was a um, traffic accident on the causeway over from Miami so they were reduced to one lane. People will be coming in here for quite some time. Well there's only one way in and out on this key. Good news is it's the best of five <laughs> for those fans. There's a good pass from Kirton. Sampras got his racket on it but couldn't get it back. You know. well, this is a problem Pete Sampras has in the humidity. As we see this replay, doesn't put enough stick on this volley. Gustavo's favorite passing shot going down the line. But at the end of this, you can see Pete looking at his hand. He doesn't like wristbands. He doesn't like when he hits a ball and the wristband kind of slides down his hand. So he has to deal consistently with the sweat pouring down to his hand and onto his grip. There's an ace. Number two from Sampras. 30-15. He's tried 30, sawdust. 15. He's tried uh, rosin. He's different things. What he's basically come down to is just using his shirt to dry himself off around the wrist, around the hand, and then changing his grip after every, on every changeover. Well, and you can see him taking some off those bushy eyebrows that actually uh, help him uh, hold at least some of it from going into his eyes. It'll be hot and humid all day long here. That's what I hate myself playing in the humidity, that I can't grip the racket. I like playing in the hot sun and the humid conditions, but when you can't hang on to the racket, you hit yeah. double balls like that. When you can't grip the racket, can't feel the little, the fine art and tune your, tune your racket the way you want when you want to hit the slices and the top spin kick serve. Now, he's going for a new racket. He may have broken the spring on that serve as well. Also takes the opportunity to grab a towel. See, you can see just the sweat coming down his arms. Under his grip, and as soon as the Brazilian fans feel that there's any kink in the Sampras armor, they're going to lean on him. They're going to lean on Pete Sampras and start screaming, Guga. 
Bertie all rapidly becoming as big as Ronaldo the famous soccer player Thank down you. there they know each other and Guga's are reaching that kind of adulation level in his home country of Brazil. Oh, another beautiful backhand pass. Pistol Pete only going 109 miles an hour wide, but he doesn't break it out 30, wide 30. enough. So Gustavo Corton is still in the dark green, makes a nice return low, forcing the weak half volley, and this is money. Break point for Kirton, his first of the match, having just been broken by Sampras. He got a serve from Sampras, saves the break point. And that's a tough ball because the wind took it and it dropped elevation, almost like turbulence in an airplane. So we had to adjust. Instead of hitting an overhead, Pete Sampras went to the high forehand volley. No. That's the type of serve we're talking about in that last huge point. He get, didn't get it out that wide. It's not the pace with that wide one. It's the placement. Perfect placement, 106 miles an hour on the second serve. It's a different type of sound, too. He's cutting across the ball instead of hitting it square. Instead of a big thud, you hear like a brushing sound when you're going for that slice. Sampras a point from 4-1. And a break here in the first set. Again, There's the one pass. down the middle. So we turn to Key Biscayne, Florida, and the Erickson Open after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. And now a short lesson in sign language. What's going on here? It's the language, Jerry. You had man hands. He's a weak answer. She's a two-face. She's got the Jimmy legs. He's a limbo. Mulva. Shrinkage. Yada, yada, yada. Stink eye. Brook eye. Hello. Oh. Sign language. Hope for the comically challenged. Tomorrow at 6 on Fox 51. Are we finished? Done. <laughs> Phone been disconnected. With Smoke Signal, you're back in business. No credit checks, no ID, no long waits. When you get connected with Smoke Signal, you're never off the hook. Call this number or visit your local store today. I'm often asked what makes Jeopardy so popular. Well, I think the talented people behind the scenes are the ones who deserve most of the credit. Our producers, our director, our team of writers and researchers, and of course, our amazing contestants who make Jeopardy the phenomenon it is. I don't know the answers to all the questions, but I do know the difference between Mark Twain and Shania Twain. Hey, it's not just a game, it's Jeopardy. Tomorrow at 7.30 on Fox 51. Tim Ryan with Luke Jensen, Pam Oliver here at the Erickson Open Men's Championship Final Live. Gustavo Kirton serving at 1-4 down a break. He's missing the pass there as Sampras returned deep to the line. Of 15. And there's the Achilles heel of Pete Sampras getting the ball on a kick second serve or a ground stroke high to the backhand of Pete Sampras. He doesn't have any much power there or control. 15 all. Service to the body from Kirton. 30-15. 30-15. Kirton in 1999 had an excellent year. He finished ranked number five in the world with a record of 50 wins, 25 defeats. Made the quarterfinals at the French, Wimbledon, and the U.S. Open. And he's getting better and better on hard courts. That's why for well, the quarters last year at Wimbledon, losing to Andre Agassi, the, the finalist in 1999. 
He's done well on hard courts and all services indoors. With that big serve, he's up to this t up to this point. He served 34 aces in this tournament. He's accomplished in the serving game, and that's going to give you free points on any surface. Hip and charge, and it's long from San Francisco. 40 30, Kirton. But Pete is making the right shots. Okay, he just misses that long, but he's keeping the point short. That takes the fitness out of play. He doesn't want to get in long rallies as we see Paul Anacone, the coach and hitting partner for Pete Sampras, devise a game plan before every match. I uh, rushed it, Kirton. Trying to get to that open court, knocked it long. That's a deuce. Well, that's deuce. what happens when. You get a well-struck ball from Pete Sampras deep into, mm -hmm. the, into the court, and Gustavo takes these big wind-ups that he's so used to on clay where the ball sets up. On hard court, it kills you. It skids. Let All of his six titles in his career have come on the clay. He's really been working hard on the hard court. He came in here one and three, and he's done awfully well in this tournament, obviously. Five victories, getting him to this championship match. Doing it now from the ground strokes. Yeah, that you know Sampras. you're really playing at the best player in the world when he starts to click, especially off the ground in the forehand. Boom! See how he jumps forward into the shot towards his target, not falling backwards, not falling to the side, fall into your target zone. Break point for 5 1. Oh, nice touch there from Kirton. Back to Deuce. Now this works because of the disguise. He said Gustavo Kirton sets up for the big ground. As you see, okay, you're on your heels if you're Pete Sampras, and then right at the end, he cups under it. A little feather, nice winner. <laughs> Pete Sampras driving the backhand. Instead of looping it back. He sees the opening down the line. He plants himself and then accelerates through the hit zone, giving himself another break point. No chance for that. Wrong footing him and breaking again to 5-1. Now, with Pete Sampras setting up to serve out this first set Sampras of 5-1, five five watch the difference between the slice serve. That's the slicer. Here's the big cannon. See that? Game. But Sampras. the difference is when you're hitting the slicer, you're going with the edge of the racket. When you're hitting that big thudding first serve, you open the face and hit it square. You can definitely hear the difference in the sound, and especially the thunder from Sampras's flat serve. Now the racket at speed is the same. There's another slice serve. All you're doing is hitting, as he hits his fifth ace of this match, is hitting a corner, a fraction of that serve to get that slice to make it break. But when you open the face and you're bringing down the truck, you're opening it and hit, hitting it with a huge thundering thud. 103 miles an hour on that sliced one, but his placement perfect, 15 love. Sampras serving for the first set. Remember, this is a best of five championship match for this Tennis Masters Series event. No! Oh. Oh. Gustavo Clinton doing the right thing on the return of serve, shortening up the backswing, and then hitting it to a target. This time he decides to give himself a, a large margin for error, so he decides to go right down the middle, jamming Pete Sampras. This is one of nine of the Tennis Masters Series events. Four of them are out in hard court. They played at Indian Wells. And two remaining after this one, Toronto and Cincinnati. 
Then they'll move to the clay courts of Europe. Let, Let service. Watch Pete Sampras on this first serve, just coil up and then explode into the ball. Starts out on his back foot and then gets momentum pushing up into the shot. Nice knee bend, good torque with the shoulders and then a big snap of the wrist. The second serve at 106 miles an hour. The front runner, Pete Sampras, right now. 30 leaning on Kirton. Again, that perfect placement. Wide, right to the line. Kicking away from him, his sixth ace. 30-15. Ah. It's the same thing the other way. No, you got the two-minute two break 40, right 15. after the set. If he can close it out. But the rhythm is so good, and he's not talking about I lift weights and I'm the most powerful guy out there, and that's why I serve aces. He always talks about rhythm and a groove, a good toss right where he wants it for that serve, and he comes through. Two set points for Sampras. Three yeah. yeah. consecutive aces, yeah. and Pete Sampras has the first set against the number six seed here, Gustavo Kirtan of Brazil. pages, five separate email addresses, two fully functioning websites, 160 TV channels, four cell phones, and just one rule. Not at the dinner table. Connect and create something. Bell South. Miami, let's join Luke Jensen with Hoke and Retzel. Jensen is not a stranger to the big time tennis. He sponsored the French Open, the Italian Open, and now a major sponsor of this Ericsson Open. The Ericsson Open is definitely a crown jewel in the tennis industry. This is the fifth largest tennis tournament in the world. Together with the Copa Ericsson, the ATP Challenger Series in Latin America, this will become a very strong vehicle for Ericsson to become a consumer brand in the U.S., just as we have been managing in Latin America. Well, Ericsson is a Swedish company, and we know the Swedes have been dominating men's tennis for many years. Borg, Edberg, Vlander, and now you're ready to dominate the telecommunications industry. How are you going to do that via tennis? Tennis really attracts our target segments in the marketplace. We also know that the product portfolio that we are currently launching is going to give us a complete restart throughout the Americas. Our new marketing activities, for sure, this fits very well into those conditions. Well, good luck in the future years. All right, All right Luke. Gustavo Kirton serving to open the second set. Down a set. And love 15. Pete Sampras charging once again, getting in tight to the net, forcing the issue. This really reminds me of the old McEnroe Wendell battle from Johnny Mac. He used to take the second serve and smash and crash and come in and force the baseliner, Yvonne Lendl, into passing shot airs. Gustavo Kirton likes to dictate on his own terms from the baseline. He doesn't want to be pushed around. 
Well, that's one answer. Come up with an ace. That's his second. 15. 30. It's 116 miles an hour. But does he have the ability to do it consistently? Because if he misses that shot, we've already seen Pete Sampras put the pressure on him off the return side. Sampras in again. And there's the pass from Kirton. 30 all, 15, 40. No, he missed that one. He missed it wide. Oh, it's wide. Yeah, double break point. <laughs> My mistake. Thought he had it. Close call, but out. There's another look at it. And indeed, it's out. So double break point for Sampras here. Opening game, second set. Pete Sampras just feeling it on the second serve return. Not giving Kirton any angle to pass. And Gustavo comes up with his money backhand down the line, but still down break point. You do. Sampras gives that a second luck, but the call stands, and he's back to Deuce. Bad errors off the backhand wing. Pete Sampras is hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut late with that backhand return, and it floats wide. It uh, floats long. Kirton can ill afford to be broken here in the first game of this second set. Okay. Good battle back by him. A pair of aces in the game. He holds to one love here in the second. Sampras won the first set 6 1. Fox Monday. The critics are raving about the new hit comedy Titus, calling it darkly funny, hilariously edgy, and laugh out loud funny. Price yourself for an all new Titus tomorrow at 8 30 p.m., 7 30 Central on Fox. <laughs> Gustavo Kirton. Thank you. Ready for play. Holding there despite two break points held by Sampras in game one of the second set. Sampras now try to even things up. It's going to be important for important for Kirton to return well in this set to make a dent into the Pete Sampras service games. If you want to set one summary, and it's the unforced heirs. 13 winners for Pete Sampras to only seven unforced heirs. That means the dictator is dictating in this match. 15 love Sampras here, game two, second set. I want to see Gustavo do more with the second serve return now. He's trying to just to make, make Sampras play a volley, and that's not working. That's it. Perfect. You have to take some chances. You lost the first set 6 1. You got a 90 mile an hour second serve. Go out after it. In the semifinals, Pete Sampras played, as we watch this backhand return, that's his best shot going down the line. Explosive backhand. Boom. But it was Leighton Hewitt that started to put some pepper on the returns that gave Pete Sampras some problems. Now yeah, there's the sky hook there from Sampras. Call that the monster jam. 30-15. He is the Shaq Diesel of the <laughs> tennis world. 30-15. He loves climbing up there and going for that. Okay, as he split steps and then he explodes. <laughs> Leighton Hewitt returned one of those for a winner, and Sampras made a point after saying, well, I'll, I'll try it again. Hope to get one in the final. Well, he's got it. Well, Pete Sampras could dunk a basketball, but 40, he has small 15. hands. You know, he just can't seem to palm the ball and try to get, get it in the, uh, in the bucket. But he has those ups, man. He can jump. 40-15, Sampras. Chase from corner to corner, and Sampras 
is even at one here on serve in the second set. And you can see the body oh, yeah, language yeah. from Gustavo Kerton. He said he's going side to side. I'm running side to side. Well, Pete Sampras is really picking on the, the forehand of Gustavo Kerton on the return side. He's serving to Gustavo's forehand, pulling him off the court, and then volleying to the open court. Great fast court play from Pete Sampras. The deep serve calling Sampras yeah. wide. Gustavo's first serve percentage for this match is 55%. And for him to really start putting a dent in the Pete Sampras, I'd like to try to get that up to 60. There's the touch again from Gustavo Kirton. And you just can't read that because he's coming up with that big wind up. And right at the last minute, he changes the face of the racket. See, he's ready to hit it and then gets right underneath the ball. The touch. <laughs> After the Agassi match, they asked him if he had gained confidence Winters. playing in this hardcore tournament. He said, I had match point against me in my first round, so I could be very far from here already. <laughs> Meeting back in Brazil. And Lob will be wide. He'll be back in Florio Nap with we'll catching some waves. <laughs> Instead, he's here in the final against Pete Sampras. He does have a flight scheduled early this evening back to Brazil to get ready for Davis Cup action next week. Brazil plays the Slovakia. Slovak Republic. That's right. It's a tough match, too. He got it. No, they call it wide. Late call, but wide. The linesman behind Sampras. And Too Kirtan close. Too close. Questioning it, but Sharon Farrell says too close. Now, this ball was good because we have the ability to look at the mark, and these hard courts will leave marks. The thing is, the umpire can't use those marks like he does on clay. See, just skimming the line. <laughs> Wide from Sampras having to reach back if he got wrong foot. Is at 40 15. See, in junior tennis, those balls would be out too, but you know, in professional tennis, those ones on the line, they're good. You know, you got to call those ones good on the line. Big ace. Ace from Kirton is third. And we're on serve. 2 1 Kirton, second set. Now here's what's at stake, this beautiful crystal trophy, emblematic of the Arison Open Men's Championship. Hi, I'm Luke Jensen, stadium court at the Erickson Open. Now tennis and Erickson have a lot more in common than you may think. Check this out. In order to succeed in tennis, you've got to have a well-rounded game. Power, mobility, coverage, dominate the net. Yeah. Power can devastate your competition. Mobility puts you in position. Coverage gets you where you need to be. The complete player, however, must also dominate the net. Ericsson, leading the world in wireless technology. Stuart Kobach, hopeless dreamer, hapless entrepreneur. Kobach and company went bust after two years. The Kobach partnership lasted all of six months. 1-800-CALL-KOBACH never even got off the ground. His latest pipe dream, Kobach.com. How's it doing? It's hanging in there. Connect and create something. Bell South. What could cause two boys we didn't do anything. to have such disregard for authority? I fully intend to pay. Ah! Malcolm oh, in the Middle, all new, 8.30, 7.30 30 Central tonight. Pete Sampras serving at 1-2 here on the second set. He won the first six games to one. Okay. The Brazilian crowd coming alive here between games, trying to exhort Gustavo Kirton, their hero. And he himself says it's not just the Brazilians who live in the Miami area, some of whom have come here from the match, others who live here. But he said also all of the Latin American fans, they That's just right. kind of embrace him because he's representing their continent. Now they hit that. Oh, the country played here. He's from Ecuador. He's a big fan. 
40% of the crowd that comes through the gates here is from South America. This is almost like the adopted championship, the Grand Slam for South America. People really freak out. Two years ago when uh, Marcelo Rios gained the number one ranking winning this tournament, there's a big Chilean following here. And they paint their faces and bring the flags and go absolutely nuts. Great for tennis. Oh yeah, it adds a lot of color and excitement to the matches. And if Guga can just get a little run going here, you'll hear from them. But Tampa's can fly the crowd with an ace. But you can't Good read night. that. The serve is Could so, it's 124, but look, you can't read this as a professional. What you're trying to do is read the toss. Both arms are up at the same time. He doesn't have any hitches with the racket, and then he explodes in the right position. So as a returner, you're frozen guessing to the back end or forehand and it's too late when he decides to pick his pick the forehand side 30 love second serve Sampras and down on the paint for a let This is a different type of play. You're down 31 in the game if you're Gustavo Kitt. 40 love. Try something different. Give the guy another look. He loses the point, but hey, trying something different. Go to another type of game plan. Effective early in the first set for Sampras, and he holds it live. Two all, second set. The two games on. Sampras with a set in hand. $410,000 in prize money goes to the winner and the runner-up. Not a bad payday. 215 grand and 100 valuable points in the ATP Champions race will go to the champion here today. The world championship in Lisbon, moving from Hanover, Germany. Beautiful venue in a beautiful country. Lisbon, Portugal, end of the season. Tennis Masters Series. That's right on the line, and even like the Bill Kirton gives it a bit of a cursory look. He didn't make the shot back. Well, what do you do if you just start a curtain? Well, number one, you've got to get that first serve and take a little bit off, and then start moving Pete Sampras around from the ground. Love 15, on serve, second set. Double fault. And that's, a, yeah, that's a pressure double fault. Gustavo knows that Pete's going to be slicing and dicing, trying to get to the net, taking that ball early. And so Gustavo's trying to serve it nice and deep, close to that line, and he pushes it long. I think Gustavo's dealing with the sun on that end. And missing with his back to the backhand pass. Now this is a different type of chip, re chip return from Pete Sampras. Instead of really knifing it nice and firm deep, he almost lobs it deep. This gives him a little bit more time, one or two more steps closer to the net. Three break points. Left. For serve. Sloppy game on service here for Kirtan. It's been costly seeing the pressure of Sampras on every point. Watch Pete tee off on this one. Now he slices it back and Kitten found an opening. Well, he had to thread the needle because by he, Pete Sampras he, he, chipping to the middle of the court, this cuts gives uh, Kitten no angle. So he has to create his own angle, and he slides this one cross court. But that's so much pressure when you got Pete Sampras breathing down your yeah. net, coming to the net. He's done it on every point. 15-40. Meaning the Brazilians simply got to get those first serves in. Here comes Sampras again. Ah, great forehand there. 
The speed and agility from Kerton to dash out to the forehand wing and whip it cross court. Because Sampras was in total control at this point. Here's the backhand pass. Nice volley, just not deep enough. And the whipper cross court. Two break points saved. That's long. Sampras in again. And it pays off. And a fifth pump from Sampras. He has a break here in the second and the set in half. 3 2 Sampras in the second set. We'll return to Miami and the Erickson Open after these messages and a word from your local Fox station. When people come on wheel, they sort of lose control. I mean, sometimes they really get carried away. Sometimes you get carried away, too. Yes. You never know what'll happen when people start spinning out of control. But that's what everyone loves about wheel. Easy for you to say. Wheel of Fortune, give it a spin. Tomorrow at 7 on Fox 51. Sampras with a break now at 3-2 in the second. He won the first set 6-1. Gustavo Kirton, the 23-year-old from Brazil, in a bind here. Trying to find a way to turn this back around. And Sampras not letting up. Backhand volley winner, 15 left. Yeah, when you only lose seven points on serve, and it's a combination of big first serves, but his ability to really juice that second serve and place it right where he wants it. And he's been aiming a lot of those serves with the forehand of Gustavo Kerton. And that has a lot of junk on it. It's not only bad and ugly, that thing's done. got bite. It's jumping around. So even if you had a handle on it, it's gonna shake your handle and shake the racket. Maybe only an Agassi type of guy can return that. And he dominates Agassi when he's serving well, like he did at the World Championships last year in Hanover. 10th ace for Sampras. Another blast at 127. 40 love. can't return that. 40 love. This really is a work of art by Pete Sampras. If you want to watch the maybe the greatest player of all time play, an all-court type of player who can play from the ground, who can serve and volley, Pete Sampras at his finest right now. Playing good, consistent, great tennis. Oh. That body language, too, indicating the confidence he's feeling right now. Little things he does when he's ready to serve, more sharper. And you just know that he's he's in control. He can feel it. Mannerisms, yeah. The game, Sampras. And he holds readily at love 4 2 here in the second up of set. Sampras leads four games to two. He watched the aces from Pete Sampras now. A good little graphic. Pistol Pete. That's one's why. Down the middle. You just can't read it. That thing's right there in neutral position. And you don't know if he's going wide to the body. Or for that big cannon opener. And here he chips and charges. And it pays off again. Well, team. this has been the big wrinkle that Paul Anacone has put into the Pete Sampras game plan. And he wants to try to do this for sure on clay when the clay court season starts in the next month. There's Paul Anacone. This guy was a smasher and crasher in his day. You know, uh, Pete Sampras made a point in a magazine article. He says, 
Paul deserves more credit than he gets, even more so than Brad Gilbert with Agassi. Well, everyone will say, well, it's so easy to coach Pete Sampras. You just open up the if can of balls and you give him a towel and a drink and say, hey, go and win a match and win Wimbledon. But it's not that simple. There are guys going at Pete Sampras all the time. Thirty fifteen. Tim Riley, Lee Jensen, and Pam Oliver. We're live on Fox here at the Erickson Open in Miami, Florida, one of the Tennis Masters series events, men's championship final, best of five. And Sampras in control at this point. Six one, four two. Gustavo Kirchner of Brazil. And did he get that? He sure did. Yes, he did. A beautiful lob from Kirton. So to finish my thought with Paul Inico, so when you, when you see Pete Sampras chipping and charging and being aggressive, that's really due to Paul Inico pushing his top player to move forward to keep points short. The game. And Kirton holds to 4-3 here in the second. That's how we stand at the Erickson. Sampras in front. Since the mall opened just out of town, Charlie Tucker has had a hard time selling anything around here. Good thing he signed that distribution deal with Asia and Latin America. We're in the money. Connect and create We're something. Bell money. South. It seems like they were thinking about it from the beginning. In the 1930s, they built their first safety test vehicle. In 51, they patented front and rear crumple zones. In 1960, they patented their safety steering system and pioneered anti-lock brakes in 78. In 1997, they built a more crash-compatible SUV. Now they have vehicles with eight airbags. Because one thing has always been most important. Get your tailgate party ready for Fox's Homer coming game. Do we have any food that wasn't brutally slaughtered? The veal might have died of loneliness. The Simpsons tonight at 8 on Fox. Pete Sampras has been to the uh, net 45 times at 84 you, points and won 32 of them. So the game plan you referred to has not only been a consistent part of his game today, but it's been an effective part. Now, when you go to the net that much, you have to be efficient. You have to con consistently make your returns and make your first and second serves. Or it doesn't work. He has to go to game plan B. We talked to him, talked about him rounding into form over the course of this tournament. Well, he is in a razor sharp form here in the championship when it matters most. 30 love. This is the record of Pete Sampras in finals. Now, you've had to at least get to 10 finals in your career. Thomas Mooster, mainly a dirt dog at 44 and 11. Pete Sampras, but a big match player. Last year, the finals of Wimbledon knocked off Andre Agassi, tuned him. Finals of the World Championships in Hanover beat Agassi, tuned him. Somehow, he's able to lift his game. And in the semifinals, Pete Sampras was playing spotty. 40 love. But look at this final. Lights out. 5 and 0 in finals last year, 1999. But it's that ability of great athletes, Jordan, uh, that can really lift their game to the next level. Gretzky. Just two big serves there, service. 125. And another easy service game victory for Pete Sampras, who's five now at 5 3 in the second set. So Gustavo Kirton trying to figure out a way to somehow get himself back into this. Here at the Erickson Open. Well, now most of the crowd has arrived. We mentioned a traffic accident held up a lot of them. They missed much of the first set due to that.
Now the fans have been treated to a great event the last two weeks. The men and women together. We had number one and number two in the world playing against each other in a women's final. The big screens out there to see all the daily play. Even at the, in the food court if you're not at a match. 39. That's long. But even today, as we mentioned at the uh, top of the program, they sold uh, ground passes today because they couldn't accommodate more than the 14,000 in the stadium itself. And they've got thousands more out watching on those big screens. 30 love, Kirton. Oh. Wide. 30, 15. Double fault, his second. Big time tennis has become more than just a just a uh, tennis match. It's an event. You really have to go. It's like the Super Bowl, the World Series. So much surrounding the tennis matches. Oh, a rare error on the backhand all. side when it's in a strike zone. So maybe a little frustration at work here for Kirton. 30 all. And with the due cause, we mentioned 32 times Sampras comes to the net out of 45 successfully. There he is again, and again, he well, comes up with it. Well, Castano is not making many unforced errors. Look, six 30, unforced errors to 14 winners. So if you looked at that stat, and you're going, oh my, he's got to be winning this match. But then you flip it over, and all of a sudden, you have the greatest player of all time, Pete Sampras, 22 winners to 10 unforced errors. That, that's Thank Blitzkrieg. You. That's George Patton in the tennis outfit. <laughs> you do. Well, early on that one, it looks like. A rare mistake for Sampras today. Back to Deuce. Oh. <laughs> hey, Gustavo's just getting beat up. I mean, you can really see and that. And 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 his facial is, is uh, court manner. It's just he's defeated. I don't want to say he's defeated. He's still hanging in there. He's got a bad point right now to make Sampras serve it out in the second set. But he, it's Pete he Sampras' is. ball is so heavy and so quick that Gustavo Kirton can't do anything with it. From the ground, he hasn't been able to come to the net too much. He doesn't even like coming to the net. Well, nor can he draw on a lot of experience against Sampras either, uh, having a lot of time to learn. He's only played two sets against him. He lost those. And Hanover had vented Kirton. Now he's got a game point here to get to 5-4 in the second set. Now, if he can hold though, on the bright side, he is only down one break. And in the semifinals, Pete Sampras really lost his rhythm against Leighton Hewitt. And all of a sudden, the, the wheels kind of came mm -hmm. off the track. And he does hold. 5-4. Sampras will serve for the second set. And a two-set lead in this best of five. Harrison Open Championship when we return. It's easy to feel lost in technology. Now there's advanced technology that's easy to use. The Ericsson A1228. Simple is powerful. Ericsson. mother's eyes. She's got her infectious laugh. She's got her loving nature, which is why her father got her a cell phone. Dad, I'm just hanging out. Connect and create something. Bell South. 
Tim Ryan, Luke Jensen, Pam Oliver here in Miami at the Ericsson Open. Pete Sampras serving for the second set at 5-4 against Gustavo Kirtna, Brazil, the number six seed. Sampras seeded number two. Kirtna eliminated the top seed, Andre Agassi, in one of the semifinals. Now, this was the hiccup I was telling you about. If Gustavo is hung in there, he's just down a break. Pete's at the wheel to serve out the second set. Best of five set match. This is where Gustavo needs to take some chances. Third double by Sampras against 12 aces. Pete is serving right into the sun. This is going to be a difficult second serve. That's okay. You went for it. You took it. You had the green light. The ball was up in your strike zone. You went for it. Still 15 all. You have to make Pistol Pete feel the pressure right now. Huge 125 down the tee. 30-15. 30-15. Great concentration from Pete Sampras playing at his own tempo. go right down the middle with that return of serve. And Pete doesn't do enough with the forehand volley. Kind of jams him, but here's the backhand pass. Accelerate. See how the ball just jumped off his racket. 30 all. Break point, Kirtan. Finally, Guga clocks one off the forehand wing. And he's been really working that forehand wing over. It's a nice serve right on the line, but Guga's there with those long arms. Here comes the chant. Guga, Guga. Hasn't given them much to cheer about so far. Every opportunity for them to get involved, they'll take, and that's good for him. Thank you. Thank you. you. Go for it here with a big one. No, three-quarter kick and get in. He got it. Pete Sampras goes for the meat and potatoes. First, and, first serve, second serve, kick. Get in, try to hit a volley, but the return's right at his shoelaces. He's in a defensive position, volleys up. That Seahawk, he's right on top of the ball, is Gustavo. Then he sets up. He doesn't know. Right at the last minute, Tussman locked for the winner. Sampras broke for 3 2 in this set. Kidman has broken back. They're on serve. Players are ready. Like that. Just aching to get to the net to take control of this match of each point. And Gustavo just scrambling around the baseline with his quick feet. Five fifteen at five all. Second set. Line. 
And Sampras jumped on it again. And certainly every chance. I, I haven't seen Pete be this aggressive, certainly in this tournament. He's just coming and coming with every possible opportunity. Well, every time he sees blood in the water, and that's what I mean by that is there's a short ball. Gustavo just doesn't drive this backhand deep enough. Short ball, Pete's going to jump on it, chip and charge. Love 30, door open for Sampras. And a big ace when he needed it from Kirton, his fourth. 125 miles an hour, right down the Texas T-bone. Sampras said after the match against Leighton Hewitt, talking to the press, that he didn't want to stay back in Raleigh with this guy. He said, that's his game. He's good at it. I respect that. I'm going to try and get in and make things happen. Well, he's delivered that so far. What an angle. Great angle from Kirton. The 30 all. It's that transition game when the ball is short to be able to create that angle. That, and it's so tough with a one-handed backhand. With a two, you have that extra hand to really snap it off like Andre Agassi would. But the backhand with one hand is tough. But he gets under it, great leverage, good extension with the follow-through. Good serve from Kirton. A little extra on that. And this is a couple minutes ago, we're talking about the great Pete Sampras just leaning on the Brazilian. And if you don't close the door on these guys, I mean, Gustavo Kirton's a top 10 player in the world, the former French Open champion. This guy can play. You gotta shut him down. Another great angle backhand and Kirton holds to 6-5 here in the second. Sanford's won the first set. We'll return after these messages and a word from your local station. I'm often asked what makes Jeopardy so popular. Well, I think the talented people behind the scenes are the ones who deserve most of the credit. Our producers, our director, our team of writers and researchers, and of course, our amazing contestants who make Jeopardy the phenomenon it is. I don't know the answers to all the questions, but I do know the difference between Mark Twain and Shania Twain. Hey, it's not just a game, it's Jeopardy. Tomorrow at 7.30 on Fox 51. Can't get enough ribs? Come on down to Sonny's for all the barbecue pork ribs you can eat. Mmm, mmm, with fresh-made French fries, coleslaw, and garlic bread. It's Sonny's Rib Lover's Feast. All-you-can-eat ribs for a limited time. You just can't do ribs better than Sonny's. Yummy. like some sort of party going on. It's the late night Fox 51 party. Hang with Homer at 11. Rock and roll all night and party every day. Then Sally smoking at 11.30. Oh, mama, walk that around. Whoa, that dick's a super freak. Kind you don't take home to mother. Join the late night Fox 51 party tomorrow from 11 to midnight. Because you can't go to bed without a party. Uh, I like it. Well, the crowd is into it now. We've had Guga Guga, and we've had Let's Go Pete during the changeover. Sampras serving. He loves him, 15 at 5 6 here in the second set. Please do not disturb the players during the. Point. And you could hear someone scream out right before Pete was about to hit that forehand volley. And that's the type of crowd you have to deal with when you're playing in South America. They have air horns sometimes between first and second serves. And you have to keep your concentration focused on the ball on your game plan. 15 on. Pete Sampras only got that one first serve in, in his last service game when he served for the second set. So it killed him. He needs a high percentage of first serves in. Oh. Just missing. Just missing wide. Third and 15. But Kuga is starting to really sit on that forehand return in the deuce side. See, he's there behind the ball, rackets back. 
picks his target and just misfires. 30-15, Sampras. They can hear the crowd still talking and chanting. Remember, that's Holy the South Jesus. American feel and flavor. Luga thought that was wide. And Pete's doing the right thing. Just play through it. You stop and ask the umpire to quiet him down, and you're asking for a lot of trouble. 14 aces now for Sampras. 40-15. Oh. What a shot. Low ball didn't come up. He just made a great move at it. He was able to reach. His feet were planted in the baseline. Google was able to reach for that one. The volley doesn't go deep. It's a little short and lunges. 40-30. Sampras a point from the tie break here in the second. Couldn't get to that. Well placed by Sampras. And we're into the tie break, second set. Sampras won the first set, 6-1. Six it's so important when you're playing break. this tiebreaker, mentally, you want to get a lot of first serves in. If you're Gustavo Kierton, you want to try to pinpoint the backhand of Pete Sampras and continue to dictate with that big first serve and then off the ground, push Pete around. Now, if you're Pete Sampras, continue to do what's been working. Attack the second serve. Kierton's been in four tie breaks in the tournament, won three of them. He will desperately need to win one here. Doesn't want to fall two down to Pete Sampras in a championship. That's a good serve from Gustavo Kerton. Instead of zero. kicking it to Kierton. the backhand of Pete Sampras where he's waiting with that grip to slice and come in, he decides to go out to the forehand wing. It's very dangerous to go there. That's Pete's best shot off the ground. But he forces an air from the pistol. 1-0 Kerton. That's two serves to Sampras, and then they alternate two the rest of the way. First to seven points, you must win by two. Oh, that's great stuff. Both players with Sampras commanding the net. But I give the momentum edge right at this point in the match to Gustavo Kerrigan. It seems like he's making Pete play a lot of wow. balls. He said, that's one volley. This is two volleys. See, he was having a sprint side to side, and this is the type of match that Gustavo wanted to get Pete into, a fitness battle. <laughs> That's why this set is so important for both players. See the difference there? Pete took a lot off that serve to break it out wide. Gustavo deep Two, in the court one. to return that, trying Kierten. to get the ball low, and Pete couldn't handle the half volley. Any break for Kierton. Two, one. There's Paul Anico, Pete Sampras' coach, does a lot of scouting, does a lot of reporting during the matches, writing down little notes. Oh. Yes, the pass. Sampras charging. Kierton perfectly delivered Three, backhand one. pass. So the approach was a little short, but not too bad. And earlier, Gustavo was missing this. This actually approach was real short. Gustavo up to it. Racket was back. Picks his shot and goes cross court. 3-1 Kierton. Nari Passos, coach of Guga Kierton. Easy going guy. Just wide, so-called, and agreed with by the chair umpire. And again, that backhand working for Kirton, diving with pace. Sampras can't handle Four it with the ball. One. Kirton. 4 1 Kirton, two serves to Sampras. Remember, Gustavo Kierton is a counter puncher. He likes to hit the passing shots. Throughout this match, Pete has been able to dominate with pace and depth. But Guga has gotten on track with the passes. Oh, 
Chance for Kirtney. Open court, 5-1 Kirtney. They'll change ends, having played six points of the tiebreak. And the Latin fans, certainly the Brazilians, enjoying Five this. One. The body language from Kirtney as he sprints down this ball and hits the open court. He's pumped. Got like that Kramer from Seinfeld type of hair. <laughs> Curls flying as he's charging around the court here, trying to stay in this match. Two points from evening it here at 5-1. Campus gets one back to 5-2. 5-2. But you can really see the spring and the step from the Brazilian. Bouncing around, really feeling the confidence. Whereas Pete Sampras, on the other hand, really seems to step slow. He's not got, have, have an, he doesn't have enough conviction on his shots right now, especially off the first serve. The set is on the racket of Kirton here. He has two serves coming. Yes, the other way, and Kirton is coming down Six the two. tee, and so Kirtan. he has himself four set points, make it five. Four. Four. This was Good looking to run around the backhand, the drill of forehand return. And it was Guga that went down the middle. Another good serve down the tee, and Gustavo Kirton is even the match. Winning the tie break. Seven points to two. One set off. Set break. Sampras won the first set, 6-1, and we're all even in this best of five championship. Max Driscoll, age 79. Widower since 1993. Alone. Solitary. got email. Connect and create something. Bell South. We have no option. Do you realize? I am ordering you to push that button, mister. We cannot do this. Speak for yourself. Mercedes-Benz Klein Assistance Center. Hi, we need some directions. No problem. Now the Mercedes C-Class comes with Tele-Aid, a direct link to help, as well as regular scheduled maintenance and lots of other stress-reducing features. Time. Who is this guy, Gustavo Kirton? That's what they were saying in 1997 when suddenly he was in the final at the French. Yeah, this guy was a nobody from nowhere. And all of a sudden, he knocked out Mooster in route. And now he's playing Sergei Bruguera from Spain. And with big serves and quick feet and guts, he wins Roland Garros. Three straight sets. You How know, sweet it is. You know that uh, the clothing he was wearing had some of that nice Brazilian yellow in it. Well, it wasn't his choice. It was actually a... A, an outfit designed you, by the same already. manufacturer, one of his sponsors, for Kafelnikov. That's right, that's right. <laughs> and the blue shoes, the whole shot. <laughs> and he made his mark and certainly has held it since then, only improving his play. And here he is now, all even, a set of piece with Sampras. Sampras 15, 15 love. love, opening the third set. This match, an hour and 20 minutes old. Pete Sampras, if I'm in his corner, I'm just telling him, continue to do what's been going on. Right now, you've had 25 winners to 17 unforced errors. Everything's fine. Your opponent's just gotten a, a handle on his game. Let's get the first serve percentage up a little bit. 58% right now. Concentrate on the first volley. 
Treat the difference, a little bit more juice with that first volley. 30 love. Take time away from Gustavo to set up and hit those passing shots. When you just, you know, you just bun them. I think Gustavo can use his footwork and set up and nail the passing shots. It's all about time. Taking away time from your opponent to set up and hit shots. Sampras would rather not be in this situation having to play a two out of three now. He had six break point opportunities in set number two. One of them a set point converted only one. That's long. So serve, second serve 104 miles 30, an hour. 15. But you just get the feeling that Gustavo Curtin is starting to read these serves a little bit better, starting to pick up what Sampras is trying to do to him and that is to serve those seconds out wide to the forehand. And there were moments of obvious frustration on the part of Kirton back in the second set. Well, he was down seven, three, five in the second set. He's down a set point. Four, and he's he battled his way back. Went in the thick of this match now. Ace number 15 for Sampras. 40-15, opening game, third set. Tim Ryan with Luke Jensen, Pam Oliver. We are live on Fox with this Tennis Masters Series event, the Erickson Open, live from Miami. And a double fault, number four for 40, Sampras. 30. 40 30. Well, Pete Sampras is going to play for our U.S. Davis Cup team in L.A. at the Great Western Forum. Captain John Macker, I'm sure, watching on TV. Just like he was during the Australian Open final. Actually, semi. Final, I'm sorry, against Agassi. Semi-final loss to uh, Agassi there mm -hmm. by Pete Sampras. Wide for game. And Sampras holds one love in the third. First game, third set. Set apiece. Let's go down to courtside and Pam Oliver. All right, Tim, I think you really get the sense that uh, this crowd has really helped to give Gustavo Kiriton a big boost. He seems more energized, more focused, more willing to be out here a lot longer than Pete Sampras. Sampras talked about how he wanted to make quick work of this match, but because Gustavo Kiriton has worked his way back in it, you see uh, Sampras taking a lot more time between points, trying to get energized and get refocused. Back to you. Nice shades, Pam. Well, South Beach look there. It's very sunny. It's very sunny and warm as it has been all week here over on Key Biscayne, across the causeway from Miami. Let. And I think that's uh, what Pam said is exactly right. This, as soon as the, he gave them something to get into, mm -hmm. they have responded and lifted him accordingly. Here comes Sampras again, and he got the paint. See, the stuff of Kieran as a counterpuncher likes the target. Now, he was working for the first set and a half for Pete Sampras, but if I'm Pete Sampras' coach, I tell him, you know, obviously there's no coaching, but I say, hey, let's try to mix it up now. Let's try to use my big four and up the ground to start dictating and pushing. There's Paul Anacone, Pete Sampras' coach, and using a different type of game plan to attack. Well, he doesn't want to get into backhand rallies with Gustavo. He wants to try to hit that forehand as much as he can. I'm talking about Pete Sampras. No mistake there by Kierton. Quickly to 40 love here. Game two of this third love. set. There's just nothing on this ball. Pete Sampras shanks it back and then nice racket prep. Gets on top of the ball, does Gustavo, and the Brazilian <laughs> nails it. Game. Well played game by Kirton on serve. All even one game one. On. and all even in the match. Well, next Saturday, catch all the action as Fox Sports brings you the Santa Anita Derby. The best three years old, three year olds of the West will score off for a million dollar purse live from Santa Anita Park. That Saturday, coverage begins at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on Fox.
15 love. 15 love, Sampras. This match really turning into a dogfight. Sampras had a golden opportunity to go up two sets to love. Had everything, had the momentum, had the tempo in his corner. Stavo able to really counter punch his way into this match. Sampras currently number eight in the ATP Champions race coming into the tournament. He'll be third regardless of the outcome here, having made the final. Prison for his part came in at number 26. He'll move all the way to number six if he wins, number eight if he loses. So he is a top 10 player again. He finished last season number five in the world. 15 all. Oh, he just That's misses right. it. But you can see he is just bunting the first ball. You have to get out there. You have to drill it. You can't take for granted just because you've slid Guga off the court. But see, there's just nothing on that volley. It's nice and deep. But Guga was there plenty of time to roll this thing cross court. <laughs> it's almost ex exactly what happened in the semifinal against Leighton Hewitt. He let Leighton Hewitt back into the match. And the Aussies would call it a walkabout. <laughs> That's right. Same kind of thing happening here. Of course, uh, he did come back strongly in that third set against the 19 year old from Australia. They sit down 40, the line of the legs from Kirton. 40 15 Sampras. A dangerous time for Gustavo, too, because he had, does have the confidence right now and he should really strike and try to go for a break. Make Pete Sampras play a lot of balls. That's right. Forty thirty. Forty thirty. Pete Sampras deciding to go behind Gustavo with that volley, just pushing it wide, catching it late. Unforced errors. Pete Sampras with 20 now, but he does have 26 winners. Two games, Sampras. Sampras holds on. Two games to one on serve in the third. A set of peace in this best of five championship one. match. Well, even the alligators are out to find out what's going on in this championship match. are all different but their passion their dreams are all the same that's why State Farm is a proud sponsor of women's sports because little girls have big dreams too Central tonight on Fox. Back in Miami, the Erickson Open. In the third set, Sampras up 2 1 on serve. Gustavo Kirton of Brazil serves the opening point of his service game here, 15 love. And that's the part of uh, Gustavo's game that's really got to come around as these sets in this match progresses. It really hasn't been a factor so far, except for a couple of times. Oh. Long on the return. 30 love, Kirton. 
Gustavo only serving five aces in this match. First serve percentage, 51%. And he can clock him. I mean, Gustavo can get in a get in the groove where he's serving ace after ace. Oh, a little <laughs> seven ball yeah. there. Yes. Well executed. Love. The French Open champion. Forty <laughs> love. Love. A little bit of a statement there, too, do you think, Luke? Well, that he's mixing it up, and he does have the ability. <laughs> he plays Davis Cup doubles. He plays some doubles in some tour events. Finishing it off with an ace in Sanford Two style, ace on. number six. Two well, different kinds of action on the strings from these guys, Luke. Yeah, their equipment's a little bit different. Pete Sampras, this is the behind the scenes with Jay Schwade and his stringing team. These are Gustavo's rackets this morning. He had three strung up. Look at the team. They, they're in the dungeon. They never get to see the light of day. Look at all the strings going at it. Now, Gustavo strings his rackets with a Less. synthetic Purser. string at 57 pounds, so very loose for the pros, whereas Pete Sampras, on the other hand, strings natural gut at 75 pounds. So the the tightness, the, the reason the rackets are so tight is to give Pete a little bit more control. And Gustavo, the loose strings are like a trampoline to give himself a little bit more pop. That cord well played by Sampras. There's the lob, and he's up for it. So two different types of thinking from Sampras and Kirton according to the, the rackets they use, the kinds of strings and the tensions. Fifteen love, Sampras. Kirton at six three one six thirty five. I guess he is looking for a little more muscle to come from his racket. It's great the technology these days. We talk about the power from these rackets compared to the old wood rackets. And Gustavo is a guy who tries to maximize the power he can get from his strings, his string tension, and that graphite stick he's using. Dirty Love Sampras. Let. First serve. Pete Matt, Sampras, 133 like long. Pete Sampras, on the other hand, uses a very heavy racket. Puts a lot of lead tape on it, one of the heavier rackets played out there. Philippus is another guy. He strings his rackets really tight. Let. 80 pounds. That would just ruin your arm and shoulder, Tim. I'm telling you, you try to hit with that, it's like hitting with a brick wall. Philippus is the highest, Luke? Yeah, at 80 pounds, yeah. that's right. Looks like an elephant gun. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. A little bit by him, at least. There's that wide serve that's been effective the entire match. Only a that. couple times, Guga has sat on it. But this is the big advantage for Pete Sampras, to have that huge gun in that first and second serve where he can be down and stay in the match with the serve, where he doesn't have to play long points like Courier or Agassi and Chang. Oh, yes. High volley from Sampras, a love game. Uh, and he is up 3-2 on serve here in the third set. They have a set apiece. pages, five separate email addresses, two fully functioning websites, 160 TV channels, four cell phones, and just one rule. Not at the dinner table. Connect and create something. Bell South. different world. 
box dating tip number 74. Be sure she hasn't just broken up with someone bigger than you. Here, did it. Lab 70 Show, all new at 8, 7 Central tomorrow on Fox. Well, last weekend at the Erickson Open, we have a Hall of Fame celebrating the 16-year history, and Andre Agassi has won this tournament many times. He went in. And Steffi Graf, is it a coincidence? Who knows, there's Butch Buckholz, the founder of this event with his brother, Cliff Buckholz. They went into the Hall of Fame too. Another way the tennis is being brought back to the fan here at the Erickson Open. Miss backhand, but in that Erickson Expo, you had a chance to vote for next year's Hall of Fame inductees. Everyone got the punch at Lendl, Sabatini, Everett. Great addition to the tournament. A mistake there from the Brazilian. 15 all. 15 all. Well, that is the Achilles heel for Pete Sampras. That's why he has so much trouble on clay where the ball bounces nice and high. Guys will kick serves high to the backhand of Pete Sampras. Pete doesn't put enough juice on it. The ball ends short. And then guys can run around, use forehands, and dictate from there. Uh, too good for Sampras. Well, Sampras busted to get over to the backhand side and slid. 15 30. His backhand pass cross court nice and low, and Google couldn't handle the volley. But see how the racket's high, and then he nice underneath the ball, keeping the ball nice and low. 15-30, door open a crack here for Sampras. On serve. Well, that one got the lines person right on Tagged the noggin. Him. That's right. Yeah. For this ground. That's long from Sampras. We said, it, we said at the top of the show Dirty that off. Gustavo Quartin is a counter puncher, but from the ground, he likes to dictate on his own terms. He likes to be patient when he gets a ball he likes, then he will explode. He seems to be doing this towards the end of the second and throughout his service games in the third, whereas Pete Sampras is the one running around now on the baseline. Lent. First serve. Kierton a 2-3 on serve here in the third set. Sampras won the first, Kierton won a tie break in the second. Good serve. Campus was there, couldn't deliver. He's unhappy with himself. Well, Pistol busted right once 40, again. 30. Going to the open court. Giving Guga that down line forehand. He just couldn't make the pass. 40 30, point from three all. Game curtain. And an ace, number seven for Curtin. Three games all. Match all even again. Career titles in the open era. Jimmy Connors well on top, but look at uh, Pete Sampras here closing in on Vilas and Borg. A victory here today would tie him with those two greats in fourth place for career number of titles won. Good save from Sampras. Uh, sir, good right save from Sampras. Deep and pulling Kirton wide. Yeah, sliding that ball out wide. Moving his opponent off the court. It's whoever's going to, who can control the middle of the court with your serve and your ground strokes and push your balls out wide to the sideline. Make your opponent move. And stretch. Uh, Sampras checking the sun. It's slanting in now. You're serving from that end. You're looking right into it, but it will soon drop below the top of the stadium. We're approaching five o'clock Eastern time. You moved your clock ahead, right? Yes, I okay, did. That's yes, good. otherwise that's good. I wouldn't be sitting here with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, at least not in the first set. <laughs> right. Forty love. Forty love, Sampras. Now, do you wait till two in the morning and then wake yourself up to <laughs> then advance the time? Or I get like wake up calls from all different time zones. <laughs> oh. Forty, 50. number five. 
For Pete Sampras. And Pete Sampras still staying hanging steady with 30 winners compared to 22 unforced errors. We're going to watch that stat. Whereas Gustavo Carrington having a great stat. 30 winners compared to only nine unforced errors. Oh, that's great. He's had three of those in this match. Maybe the toughest shot in the game of tennis to hit. A running one-hand backhand top spin lob. 4D, 3D. No, your forehand, your forearm isn't strong that way. And you have to run to get it, get under, in the, underneath the ball, get the leverage, and hit the top. And make sure it's high enough so you don't have that sky shot coming That's back right. from Zampers. 40 30. Watch Guga on his toes now. Good body language. Double fault in the break. Deuce. Now back to Deuce, pardon me. Deuce. Tampers, two double faults in this game, six in the match. Mentally, it just kills you when you're up 40 love in the game, and all of a sudden you're back at Deuce, and you're in a dog fight to hold your serve. Six double faults now for the match for Pete Sampras. 16 aces. Uh, 17. Bad Sampras. <laughs> Sorry, Pete. Didn't mean to get, you know, get out in front of you. So often when he needs it, he's got it. a bit of a struggle. Four games to three on serve in the third set. A set apiece in this championship match as we look live down on world famous South Beach in Miami. Ten years of friendship. No matter who or what you find out there, we'll always be your family. A lifetime of memories. The five of us have to stay together as long as we can. It just feels right. How do you say goodbye when it has to last forever? However long it takes, I'm not going to go anywhere. The final episodes of Party of Five and 90210 begin Tuesday and Wednesday on Fox. T-Rex just loves the IRS. Inventory reduction savings right now at Rex. Get this Hitachi 50-inch stereo projection TV with 24-watt speaker system, Genius Universal Remote, and more for only $14.99. Rex has this Whirlpool Super Capacity 5-Cycle Washer with three wash, rinse temperatures for $2.99. And this Toshiba 32-inch stereo color TV with surround sound and more, just $4.99. Terrific value, terrific prices during the IRS sale right now at Rex. When people come on wheel, they sort of lose control. I mean, sometimes they really get carried away. Sometimes you get carried away, too. You never know what will happen when people start spinning out of control. But that's what everyone loves about wheel. Easy for you to say. Wheel of Fortune. Give it a spin. Tomorrow at 7 on Fox 51. Tim Ryan, Luke Jensen, Pam Oliver back here where Gustavo Kirton winning that second set in a tie break is on serve in the third here with Pete Sampras. Dump shot a little deep and Sampras with the pass. Kirton can't handle. That was a scouting report on Gustavo Kirton. When he gets to the net, he's a good touch volleyer, but he doesn't have enough authority on those volleys. And look at this. That's a lame drop volley. I can even run that one down. Of 15. Oh. 15 all. Oh, no. The pivotal time for both players. Who's going to step up and raise the level of their game? Put a little extra juice on it. That's the right play from Pete Sampras, though. 
Controlling the middle of the court off the ground with his forehand. 30-15, Kirtan. Nice deep first serve, only 93 miles an hour, but effective into the Sampras backhand body, right into his hip pocket. Davos increased his sound effects here, too, as the match has gone on. Like that. Good deep return from Sampras. Well, instead of tripping it, he decides to roll over the top. Puts a little bit more spice on that shot, a little bit more pace, driving the ball deep, taking away time to run over there for Gustavo Kerton. 40-30, point from four all for Kerton. Just missed on first serve. And a double foul, Tosley. Deuce. Deuce. Tim Ryan with Luke Jensen, Pam Oliver here on Fox. We're covering live the Erickson Open, the men's championship. Best three of five. Gustavo Kirton, the number six seed from Brazil against number two Pete Sampras. Let's. Kirton eliminating Andre Agassi in the semifinal to get to this match. Let's service. Deuce. Sampras won the first set 6-1 and then Kirton in the tie break in the second set. On serve here in the third, if you're just joining us. Here in a 3-4, deuce. Big opportunity for Pete Sampras right now, second serve. He's coming. He'll get that, and Sampras will get that. Great point, Sampras. Pete Sampras showing his athletic ability, darting from side to side. Guga can't put enough stick on this last one. And the lunging, Pete Sampras. Pumped. Thank you. Good serve from Kirton. Boy, he needed one there. A buck 17 on the gun. Sampras style, getting out of that hole, saving the break point. Crucial moments for both players. in a row and Sampras again delivers what turns out to be the winner. Kirton can't get it back. Yeah, Field play Sampras. from Pete Sampras going from retriever hitting the lob forcing Kirton into a defensive position and this is the toughest shot in the game right there the high backhand volley using the angle and then Guga can't handle the backhand pass. Other break point Sampras. Gust of wind. That court will take it wide. Sampras was there. It wasn't a great shot from Kirton. And Sampras frustrated at that. At point blank range. Jeez. That volley was another feeble attempt at a drop volley. He was there with plenty of time with his best ground stroke, the forehand, and the net cord, the kiss, pushes it wide. And the Kirton partisans are ready. Thank cheering you. that misfortune of Sampras. They're back to Deuce. Sampras. 
Another great point, third of this game. Right, the running Sampras. forehand is Pete Sampras' second best shot, only second to his serve. But watch, the racket was back. He drives it down the line right on the paint. On second serve, knocks it into the net. Deuce. Deuce again. What a battle in this game. It was a short second serve. He had a green light. Paul Anacone watches on. Is he watching? No, no. <laughs> he's actually scouting. He's got that pad of paper. <laughs> Deuce. Big serve from Kirton. Yeah, Paul Anacone's charting the matches, seeing all the opportunities. Almost yeah, slipped through his printed. player's hands. That serve at 123 miles an hour. Watch service from the Brazilian. Point from four all again. And he leaves that Thank just you. in time and holds. What a battle in that game. Credit to the Brazilian. We're even at four of the matches even. And that brings out the flags of the fans for Guga. Well, next Saturday, catch all the action as Fox Sports brings you the Santa Anita Derby, the best three-year-old three year olds in the West. Square off for a million-dollar purse live from Santa Anita Park Saturday. Coverage begins at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on Fox.